17 seniors being honored here today as we prepare for this dual meet against the Bowdoin College Polar Bears as the Bobcats look to finish undefeated in dual meets this season. John Marcolina jumps in first, a commanding lead right now as we enter the freestyle portion. Marcolina, all he's got to do is maintain here for the A relay. But coming on strong is Steve Ward for Bowdoin. Marcolina does have the edge, and it's going to be a runaway, I think, for Marcolina. There he goes, and the Bobcats win it. The A relay of Nathan Berry, Nathan Summer, Edmund Yang, and John Marcolina grab first. Bowdoin's A relay gets second. Bates B relay, a key third place showing there. The Bates B relay of Dan Waterland, Dakota Lindsay, Andrew Hall, Peter Corey getting third. Bowdoin's B relay got fourth. Bates C relay got fifth, and Bowdoin's C relay got sixth. One minute, 31.29 seconds to winning time for the Bates A relay. Well done there. Who is the bigger fan than a teammate? And look at Myra Noso Williams with a lead now. A little bit more significant advantage over Kemp. Reynoso Williams looking to pull away down the stretch here. In lane six, the furthest away among the swimmers that you're watching, lane seven, lane eight, not being utilized for this race. It's Maya Reynoso Williams with the commanding advantage as of now. And Maya Reynoso Williams wins the 1,000 yard freestyle. Kip will get second and Johnson will get third. Williams does it. Gregory makes the turn again. What an effort from him so far. His seat time was 10.08.24. We see if he can, we'll see if he can top that. That'll be interesting to see for Gregory. Well, Bean's falling a little bit behind Peabody. Peabody in lane three for Bowden, looking strong. Also across the way, I, lane seven, I'm not quite sure McLeod's status, but he's, no, he's a little bit further back, I think. Gregory wins. Peabody got second. Gregory does end up beating his seed time. 10 minutes, 5.53 seconds. Well done by Gregory. He beat his seed time by three seconds there. He wins. Peabody for Bowden gets second. Bean gets third for Bates. And we're going to see who can pull out this one between Bates and Bowden. Winger right now is looking very strong in lane two. The closest lane to us, that's not lane one. Lane one not being used for this race. Winger wins it by a lot. A minute 52.69 as Peter Corey does have the lead right now in lane four. Corey looking to take this one for the Bobcats. The senior captain makes the turn. In the lead right now at 27.06 on that split. There goes Corey. A commanding edge right now for the Bobcats, looking to win this 200-yard freestyle. Bates men have won each event so far, and Corey has a big lead. The senior captain on senior day wins the 200-yard freestyle for Bates. Cassily, the early edge here. Bates hasn't gotten really any one-two finishes yet. You, you want to score, right? You want to win, but you also want to get some more points. So see if this might be the race to get one, too. We'll see. It looks like Bowden's Ella Martin looking pretty strong in lane five, though. Here we go, down the stretch. It's Cassily with a commanding lead. The first year. Can she beat her seed time is the question now. Cassily wins in 57.70 seconds. Martin gets second. Mohamdi Hall is third. Garces is fourth, Sweeney in fifth, Brohard in sixth, Garen in seventh, and Tran in eighth. This is the 100-yard back event. Eight of our dual meet, 32 events scheduled today. Barry and company, off they go. Good start for Barry on that push as he gets the first 25 yards in. Makes a turn quickly. Neck and neck, though, right there with them is uh, 
Well, Meebus there in lane five. Not too far behind, although Barry does have the lead and on the first turn. Again, his seat time, 50.16. Barry with the advantage as he makes a second, another turn here. This is the 100 yard backstroke, and right now it's Nathan Barry, as expected, the junior with the lead for the Bobcats. And Barry wins in 50.24. This will be the final full lap here, and Young has opened up a big lead over Smith. It was close there for the first uh, 100 yards. But now Young really looking strong because she beat her seed time of 2 minutes, 8.83 seconds would be the question. This should be the final one, I believe. I've been wrong before. There goes Young with the lead right now. Lane 5 is approaching. That's Annika Rubakia Bowden making a little bit of a push here. A very strong push, actually, but... Young is going to win this one in 2 minutes, 12.34 seconds. Rubaki does get second in 2 minutes, 13.71. Bates gets third. Saskia Wong-Smith in lane 2 with a 2 minute, 15.35 school tally. And Townen in lane 8 got 2 minutes, 16.33, got fourth. One more lap up and down the pool. Hall and Jiang, neck and neck, as expected based on the seed times. Can Hall, the senior, get the win on senior day? It's going to be close. Hall appears to have the lead right now. In lane six, Andrew Hall, the senior for the Bobcats. Hall's going to win this one on senior day in a minute, 55.35. Beating his seed time in the process. Dan gets second. There's a one-two for the Bobcats. The got me in third. Whiteley in fourth for Bates, Calder in fifth, Depew in sixth, and Lee in seventh. How about Andrew Hall? He smashes seed time right there. And we're off, up and down the pool. The sprints are always fun as the water splashes around. Marcolina on the turn now. Trying to hold off his opposition. Coming on strong in lane three here. Let's see, can Marcolina win? I think he did. Yes, Marcolina holds off a strong challenge there from Kamashane. Marcolina wins it in 21.52 seconds. 100 yard freestyle for the men. Event 18 of this dual meet. And Nathan Berry makes a turn first in lane four of the first 25 yards. Corey right behind him in lane six. Lane three fast approaching, that's Steve Ward of Bowden. Barry, first 50 yards complete. Barry with the lead, Corey right there as well. In fact, Corey might have a slight edge. It's gonna be neck and neck here. Barry and Corey. Final 25 yards right now. Corey gets into his stroke first on the freestyle. Now here goes Barry. It's gonna be Corey or Barry down to the wire. Can Corey get the win? He does! Peter Corey, the senior captain, barely out touches Barry. 46.54. Barry gets second, 47 flat for Bates. Merritt in lane one got third, 48.20. Ward got fourth for Bowden there in that one. So Bates gets one, two. Cassidy is absolutely dominating this race. What a swim by her. As they make the turn here, I'm looking at lane six with Karai trying to get second for Bates. Castley and Karai are good friends. Can they get one, two in the 200 yard backstroke? Karai's gonna have to hold off Smith. Castley is on the move. Gonna win this one by a lot the first year. Sophie Cassily down the stretch. Can Karai hold off Smith? Cassily wins. Now, who's going to get second? Karai looking to out touch. And Karai does get second for Bates. So they get a 1 2 there. Cassily wins it in 205.82. And Karai gets second in 210.93. Tropper is still right in the mix. What a swim by Tropper so far. She has hung in there and may get second. 
Here we go. Winger makes a turn here. Tropper makes a turn over in lane six. Can Bates get one, two, three? It's going to be close. I think Bowden might get third. Lane five looking pretty good right now. There goes Winger. And the last lap. It's Winger with the lead. And Tropper is there in second, it appears. Yes. The battle for third is between lane five for Bowden. That's Kathleen Kemp and lane eight. That's Amy Townen for Bates. Grace Winger almost lapping people there in lane two. Grace Winger with ease wins it in 5.11.73. Second place, Tropper in 5.16. It's Gregory out in front. Makes the turn. McGowan makes a turn, and then close behind him is Nordstrom. Nordstrom trying to come on strong, get Bates a 1-2 here. Nordstrom making a push. Gregory makes a turn. Can Nordstrom come out chase down McGowan? McGowan still has the lead over him, but not by a lot. Gregory out in front. But who's going to get second now as they make the push? It's still McGowan in second at the moment. But Nordstrom not backing down over there in lane six. It's Gregory easily winning. Who's going to get second? It's down to the wire. Lane six, lane three. And it looks like lane three does. McGowan holds off Nordstrom, but it was close. <laughs> Gregory wins 449.83. Second place, McGowan, 455-16. Third place, Nordstrom, 455-22. Very close at the end. Great effort by Nordstrom in lane six for Bates. Gregory wins it. That's a battle. This is the 100-yard butterfly, so they're 50 yards down, 50 to go. Bates trying to add to that point total. Jang. Over there in lane six making a push is Andrew Hall. Hall, the senior, of course. Trying to make an impact on senior day. Jang Hall and Lee all neck and neck. Jang looking to win this one. Lee trying to chase him down to the wire. And Jang gets it in 51.33 and Hall got second. How about that? A 1-2 for Bates. Jang 51.33, Hall 51.70, and then Lee 51.82. <laughs> that is as close as it gets. And really well done there by the Bobcats to get one, two in that one. That was much smoother from Sauce. And he'll get a five and a four and a half. Pretty solid that time. So in that women's basketball game we were telling you about, again, a really great year for the women's team so far. They were tied with Tufts at the end of one quarter, but Tufts really dominated the second quarter, and they're up 10. Here's B. Sullen again, and that's another really good dive for her. Let's see what the scores say. Yeah, they agree. Sixes that time. So really good performance so far in the three-meter diving from the junior, Julia B. Sullen. Andrew Hall. Down the stretch he goes. His final swim at Torbell Pool, Andrew Hall. And the 400-yard freestyle relay team wins it for Bates. Nicely done in 308.15. The Bowden A relay, 309.30. The Bates B relay at 314.27. The win does go to Bates. The A relay, nicely done of Peter Corey, Nathan Berry, Nathan Summer, and Andrew Hall wins the final event of the evening here at Tarbell Pool.